Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm Kristen and my friends with All Free Knitting and I wanted to show you the stocking knit stitch. And there are several different stocking knit stitches. Uh, this one is called the crossed stocking knit stitch. But I do want to show it to you um, for a few moments and compare uh, a few different ones. So this is going to be sort of a stocking knit tutorial here. I'll try and go as quick as I can. Uh, this particular one is called the cross stocking knit stitch and I've made it with two colors and one color so you can sort of see the difference. If you can kind of notice here, it's it's a little hard to see, but um, if you see that every other row looks like it kind of bumps out a little bit, it has this sort of twisted knit stitch because one row is the E-wrap which has this twisted knit stitch. It bumps out a little bit and then it's flatter on a knit row and then it it's back to the E-wrap or single stitch as, a, as it's all also called. And so you get this sort of bumped out look. Um, it's disguised a little bit more when you've got these two colors together, but you can see it more here and it, it would work up in a bigger piece looking like that. Um, and stocking knits, what they do is they end up curling a lot. Uh, this one is, um, actually this one right here is your traditional stocking knit stitch. This is just all knit stitches then if a reverse stocking knit stitch is going to be this one which is all purl and then um, the e-wrap is basically a knit stitch but it's uh, a lot of times it's called the twisted knit stitch and it just looks like a much looser knit stitch so these are different types of stocking knits we're going to do the crossed today so um, again if you want to do the regular stocking knit it's all knit the reverse stocking knit, it's all pearl, and the twisted knit stitch stocking knit is all e-wrap, and there's tutorials on how to do those. Uh, I may not be calling them and stocking knit in them, but that's what they are. So this one right here is going to be the crossed stocking knit stitch. And every other row is knit, every other row is e-wrap. Let's get started. We're going to make our slip knot taking our shorter part, winding it over our finger, take the back over the front and then over again. I'm going to put this on our loom and put the tail on the inside. Let it fall in where your work is going to go. We're going to start by e-wrap casting on for the first uh, row. So we're going to go to the next peg Go to the back of the peg, go over the front and toward the back again. Go down to this back side, go around the front and the back and see so you're making it twisted and looks like an E shape on the inside. And we're going to continue to do this for a few more rows. Uh, let's do about seven. We're going to have a little, um, because it's a flat panel, we're going to have a slip stitch as the first one. And this one, uh, as soon as you wrap this one, it's just going to start coming back to that next peg. And we're going to go back to the front, e-wrapping as we go. So it's always away from you, towards you, and back. Away, towards, and back. Then I'm going to hold on to that working strand. Take the bottom over the top and do what we call knit over. Sometimes you'll see the abbreviation called KO, and that just means knit over. Oh. This is row two. We're going to do the knit stitch. So, you know, just Put your loose yarn over the top and we're going to grab from under the loop here. Get that close here. We're going to grab from under the loop, grab that working yarn, pull it down, then take this and pull it off. Put the new loop on, tighten that up. Do it again. Make sure the working yarn's on top. Take your pick, go under, grab that yarn, pull down, take off the old, put on the new, tighten that up. Now, not too tight, just taut a little bit. You want to 
go under here, grab that from down below, pull off the old and on with the new, do it again. Just continuing the same stitch on this entire row. I'm going to take this yarn, go around the back side, and go around the next peg towards you again. Go back around and then towards, and we're just doing the E wrap stitch now. Remember, we're going to switch every other row for the E, and every other row is the knit. Okay, so we've got that. Hold on to your yarn. I usually just take my other hand and grab that. Knit over. I always push them down afterwards because the knit stitch, the working yarn, is going to be on top. And so you're going to need those pushed down. So after we do the knit, we are going to go back to the E. So you go to the next one, go back and around. And you're just going to continue in this way, alternating rows between the E wrap, or single stitch, and the knit stitch. You will have the crossed stocking knit stitch, just like this one. Thank you for tuning in to Good Knit Kisses. Have a great week, and happy looming! Mm -hmm.